Now, before we get into this wonderful news that we got from the Baltimore Ravens today and something that we just love seeing from them, I got a couple of announcements to make. First, for the Thursday night football game, uh, the Ravens versus Bengals at M&T Bank Stadium, we will be joining Jack Settleman uh, for the Punchline Podcast tailgate. So if you want to be a part of that too, you want to get tickets for it, you can click the link down below in the description and use code ENGRAVEN to get $5 off. Now, this includes unlimited food. This includes unlimited drinks. And you also get merch and stuff too. So you really can't beat that. So so if you want to join us, then, hey, you feel more than welcome to come through. You already know what time it is. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you do not miss this and any other video that we drop. Now, what do we love seeing from the Baltimore Ravens? Well, first and foremost, the best news that we got today was on Ravens starting quarterback Lamar Jackson. We remember in the game uh, the other day against the Seahawks, I think it was Bobby Wagner, but whoever it was, uh, they tackled him and sort of twisted Lamar's ankle up a little bit. I don't think it was in a dirty way or anything like that, but just everybody landed wrong, and Lamar got up kind of slow and looked like he was limping around a little bit. But then later on in the game, uh, we saw when Tyler Huntley threw the touchdown to Odell Beckham Jr., Lamar Jackson jumping up and down, celebrating and whatnot. So he looked like he was good. Then even after the game, John Harbaugh was asked about Lamar Jackson. He said, hey, Lamar, you good? Lamar, yeah, I'm good, coach. Oh, okay, he's good. So it's already been said multiple times that Lamar Jackson is good, but today, Jeff Zrebic, shout out to Jeff Zrebic because he is the best Ravens reporter to do it. Um, but anyway, he was asked about Lamar Jackson, and some of my guy wore ready. He asked Jeff Zrebic, he was like, hey, I heard that Lamar Jackson was limping after the game. And Jeff Zrebic replied, he said, uh, not that I noticed uh, He did a, So he was saying Not that he He didn't notice Lamar Jackson limping But he said that Lamar did a flying Karate kick in the air After he missed a throw In warm up So it didn't strike me As something you'd do If you were hurting And then of course Even after that When the injury report Came out Lamar Jackson was not On there So that was great uh, Because we know Everything This whole season The Baltimore Ravens They live by Die by Lamar Jackson Well Not necessarily They, they do But The offense wise they, they weren't as well not nearly as much as they were before because you know we're like everything everything went through Lamar Jackson before but now it's been nice seeing the weight lifted off of Lamar Jackson's shoulders and put on other people consistently that's been a beautiful thing and that makes the Baltimore Ravens that much more of a dangerous team but anyway continuing on with the great news that we got Keaton Mitchell um, who was up against uh, he was up against some other people with the whole FedEx ground player of the week he was up against some other people and I was looking at those numbers I'm like mm, Keaton Mitchell should win he should win by a landslide, but then he is an undrafted rookie free agent. Uh, people don't know him like that, so I don't know. But Keaton Mitchell did win uh, NFL's FedEx Ground Player of the Week uh, with his nine carries for 138 yards, one touchdown, average 15.3 yards per carry. Mm. Now, is, is that sustainable in the NFL? Hey, I would love if he sustained that. But anyway, shout out to Keaton Mitchell. Now, um, Marcus Williams, off the injury report, full go at practice. Uh, Morgan Moses, he came back to practice. So Ravens getting their right tackle back. He practiced in full. Now, uh, the only people on the injury report, this is crazy. Listen to this. The only people who were on the injury report, they weren't even injured. They weren't even hurt. People, there were three people listed on the injury report, and they weren't even hurt. It was Odell Beckham Jr., and he had a rest day. Uh, it was Morgan Moses, and of course, since he was injured last week, he had to still be on the injury report today. Uh, but he practiced in full. And the last guy was Michael Pierce. He did not practice today, but they said he had an illness. It's probably because he just sick of working so hard and being a beast. That's all that, that was with Michael Pierce. I ain't worried about that. But it's nice that the Baltimore Ravens, all 53 people on the roster are healthy. Everybody on the roster, on the active roster, is healthy. That is crazy. That's insane. But we love it. We absolutely love it. Um, so that, that that's always good news because the Baltimore Ravens, of course, uh, my guy Kevin Ostriker, he did a comparison of the Baltimore Ravens injury report today versus their, their injury report from a year ago. And oh, my goodness, it just brought up so many bad memories. Um, just really over the past couple of years. I mean, y'all know how it goes. Like Ravens with their injuries, it's always this long list. This long, looks like a receipt. It, it goes crazy. But now to see it so, so small, this, this, this tiny injury report. And again, nobody on there was even hurt. Oh, man. Oh, I used to dream about times like this. And now it's actually happening for the Baltimore Ravens. It's crazy. And again, I got to repeat it again because it's real, man. It, Tyus Bowser ain't even the uh, job boy ain't even we still missing a couple guys now still missing a couple guys man 
So this this was just great news to get uh, from the Baltimore Ravens. So I'm happy. I know Baltimore Ravens are happy. I know y'all team keep it clean are happy. So let's continue this happiness with a win on Sunday.